Okay, so I'm just going to make a quick video showing off the arcade cabinet I made to play a lot of the old arcade and console games that I played as a kid. Um, basically, this is all made from scratch using MDF as the building material, um, vinyl decals on the side from Soul Draw online, um, Game On Graphics is where I printed the control panel graphics, the uh, marquee is also from Soul Draw. Now the way this thing is turned on is I have a power button on the back. Let's see if I can get back here and show it to you. It's basically wired directly to the motherboard on the computer inside that runs the whole thing. So once you hit the power button, this powers up the computer. And because the computer is on a smart power strip, that causes all of the other components inside the cabinet to power on. So the monitors, the marquee light, and you can, you can see there that I have a... Uh, custom graphic when the computer boots up. Boots directly into the uh, front end for the gaming system, which is GameX. So I basically went into the uh, <clears throat> registry editor and edited it so instead of going to explore, it just opens up GameX. The control panel is actually built to be removable. So you can actually just lift it right up. It's a little bit tight, which is actually good. And on the inside, you can see that it's actually wired to the cabinet using parallel cables. So basically, I just cut parallel cables in half, soldered one half to the buttons, soldered the other half to the uh, iPack 2, which is kind of hidden in, on the inside of the cabinet here. There are two screens here. One on the bottom is basically displaying a secondary display through the uh, GameX software. It has a feature called Game Extender. So depending on where you are in the menu system, it'll either just show like a preview graphic or a system logo. So for example, if you go into arcade games, it'll actually show the uh, controls or whatever game. Um, a lot of the games don't necessarily have great controls to find in the files that are available, but some of them you can see if it focuses. So like 1941 here, it'll tell you which button is fire, which button is loop. So the whole time you're playing the game, you'll have the game instructions right in front of you there. Um, in the front end, it's a custom theme. So over on the right here, you can see a picture of the cabinet that I made in Google SketchUp shows a preview video in the screen and then just whatever secondary picture GameX decides to show in the little second screen down here. So basically you just go into the menu system, pick the system that you want to play a game from, pick your game, um, you can hold the green button and page up and down or alphabetical page, so A, B, C, D, E. Um, let's grab a game here. GameX will load up the game, bypass any of the warning messages. Um, a lot of the games like Pac-Man here, you can see I have some graphics on the side to fill up the space in the widescreen monitor. Instead of a coin system, I actually just have it set up so I have a credit and a start button. So, insert coin, start. I did that on purpose. And then when you're done with the game, you can just go ahead and exit out. When you're done playing, just go back to the power button in the back. It's wired up so as soon as you hit it,
everything shuts down.